Hey, I'm Ria and welcome to the shack. I mean, for real this time. All right, so we're gonna build an antenna today. And um, Alan sent me this AY04 antenna that, um, you know, they asked me if I could build it and do a video. So I'm gonna be doing two videos on this antenna. One of them is where I built the antenna and you're gonna see exactly how to build it using nothing but a Phillips screwdriver. And you'll need a wrench to put it on a mast. I plan to do it on a tripod. And in the next video, we're going to take the antenna out and hopefully make some contacts. Now, this antenna is designed for repeater use, really. I mean, FM, vertical polarization. You could probably use it on SSB. We're, we're going to try that, but, you know, we'll see. It's a dual band antenna. It doesn't seem to be, um, uh, how should I put it, oriented like these satellite antennas, you know, like the arrow antennas and such like that. It seems to be a little different, so we're going to see exactly how it does. And um, yeah, let's have fun. For this build, you are going to need, at bare minimum, a screwdriver, Phillips. And I have a multi-tool that I use for cutting the wire tie that's holding this bundle of stuff together. And also, you could probably use it to put this antenna clamp on the mast, but um, you know, we'll see how that goes. Okay, now I'm gonna try this out on a tripod in the next video, so that should be pretty interesting. The way it's packaged, they give you like these set of little, um, they give you this in a nice piece of bubble wrap, I guess because it's sensitive. And the material is aluminum. It doesn't seem to be like your typical, you know, I guess rolled aluminum. It seems to be cast. It kind of reminds me of like you go in a store and you buy like these shoe racks and it, it's pretty light. They give you a very basic instruction manual and they tell you that how in order to tune it, if I could just do this, to tune it, you're gonna need to um, go up and down he said, don't coat any paint on it to prevent interference with transmission and reception. I guess I mean metallic based paints, but I wouldn't be painting this anyway. And AY04 is horizontal direction transmission, but the diagram shows it clearly vertical. So I guess we'll see about that. Okay, so I can either cut the wire tie or just slide it out like this. And all the parts are numbered. So we're going to organize that and then we're going to come right back. Okay, so the first thing you'll notice is the boom comes in two pieces. Okay? Two rectangular pieces of aluminum. And you'll see the little numbers here. You'll see number one, you see number two, you see number three, four, and you see it skips to number seven, number eight. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, you notice five and six is missing. Five and six is on the driven element, right? And the way you do this is you slot this here, this piece here, so that the numbers line up, okay? So you got five, six, and the holes here have to line up as well. See this hole lines up, and you do number four here, Okay, so this lines up, right? And then you take one of the screws and you screw it in. Now they give you two sizes of screws here. They give you these large self-tapping screws and they give you the smaller machine screws. The larger screws that you are for the boom here, right? And I just put them in like this. And I take the screwdriver and do it like this. Don't force it, don't cross thread it, just keep going in. It'll go in nice and easy. Okay. Right. 
and do the same one here. It's always good to use a hand screwdriver. You don't want to force, use a power screwdriver and then strip the whole thing because then that'll be a disaster. Okay, just tight enough. You don't want to go too tight. Okay. Next I turn to the side here and do this. Okay. And I really recommend using a proper screwdriver and not a multi-tool because as much as I love multi-tools, um, a screwdriver will just give you the proper grip. Okay. This is a $2 Harbor Freight screwdriver. Okay. And this here. Like this. Okay. So now you have the driven attached to the boom. Okay. And we'll save the adjustment for later. Next, we're going to start all the way at number one. Okay, so we go here at number one, and let's see here. Now you notice this piece here has an open end, okay? And you'll notice that that fits with this, which has one closed end and has a smaller end. So what you can do, first of all, you slot in this here into the boom, all right, resist the temptation for any jokes, well I like jokes, I take large screw, Make sure the hole lines up right. Sometimes it doesn't. There we go. And I put it in like this. Okay. So the self-tapping screw like that. Make sure it's tight. Don't over tighten. You don't want to strip it. Okay. Okay. It's snug there. And then I take the element tips here, which has the closed end. I slot one in there. And get a smaller screw like this. The small screws, the machine screws. And I put it in here. All right. And then I gently, gently screw it down. Okay. Half of one element done. That wasn't too hard, right? Okay. So let's do on to the next one. Now you have to be careful that you don't mix them up, but it's not it's not that hard to not mix them up. Okay, so I take an element tip again, put it here.
It's going to be good for field day for making those FM contacts. Or you keep it in, I plan to keep this in my car. So if I ever have to make some contact on a larger feeder, I just put this on a tripod. I'm going to show you guys how to put this on a tripod. And then we're going to go and um, I have some old light stands and background stands that I'm going to put this on. Okay. So next is number two. You notice it's keyed. Right. So I take number two and I'll put the number two in here. Right. Okay. It's very easy once you get the hang of it. Okay. And number three, number three, number three. Pretend it's a pileup. Where you doing it by the numbers? Number three, number three, number three, only number three. You know, I should do a video on pileups. That'll be great. Okay. Then number three again. <laughs> I do this. All right. This is child's play now. Don't worry, the fun part's coming along where we break out the antenna analyzer. Alright. And number four, I believe, is a VHF element. Nope, it's UHF. Number four. Numero cuatro. Number four. I will be putting a link to this below, and if you want this antenna, um, there will be a link below where you can get it off eBay, and Alons has them. So, you must get the numbers correct, I cannot stress this enough, because that will dictate, um, they have uh, certain lengths, especially designed for the Siagi antenna, okay? So numbers 5 and 6 are here, okay? Numbers five and six are on the side. Now you go to number seven. Number seven is a bigger UHF element. Right? And let's put it in here. I skipped number six. I'm going to do that afterward. All right, just tight enough, not using a power screwdriver. Then I do number eight, behind door number eight. All right. I'm probably gonna get another one of these and put it up on the tower just for repeater use. It seems like a very nice antenna. But I'll seem to have a bigger one. And I'll do a build on that if I get it. All right, so all these installed. Now I need to get the tips. I have two tips here for number eight. Okay, so let me put on the tips. Now I like to keep screws in a bag. I don't like to just pour them out uh, and drop them all over the table because they get lost. Um, you know, I unless it's like a bunch of, a whole lot of them, I put them in a container. I have like a little magnetic parts tray I got from Harbor Freight, that works too. 
I like I like them. They're nice. Harbor Freight, even though some people hate them. Okay. So another tip here. This will be small enough I could keep it in a Tesla. I could probably even remove the tips and um, keep it in the front. What do you think? Leave a comment below. All right. Right. So you think we're done? Well, not really. Remember number six? Number six needs tips too because number six is a driven element. And the other side of number six. Every story has two sides. Never forget that. Okay, that looks like we're done. You want to see the finished product? Here it is. Isn't it beautiful? I'm going to put it on the ground. And we're going to take a look. And that, my friends, is the Alance AY04. All right, I hope you enjoyed this one. It's a really hot day outside today. So the next video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run the antenna analyzer on it. We're gonna tune it up because there is a specific tuning procedure. Then we're gonna go up um, probably on a hill and make some contacts. We'll see how that goes, okay? 73, keep on hamming. This is N2RJ. See ya.